So uh, today I am going to cover the diffusion and uh, adaption. Actually, uh, you know that a uh, lot of uh, things you may cover about the uh, uh, the extension approaches, extension methodologies, and how we can uh, transfer the uh, knowledge to the rural communities and farmers. And here, actually, the diffusion and adaption is actually uh, we covered and we, we learned today uh, what actually happening or what the uh, real things happen in psychology. So that's called uh, diffusion and adaption. We covered what actually happened and how it should be. Right. So, <clears throat> wait, wait. So other thing is actually uh, the your assignment is uh, still not uh, reached to me. So only five or six people, uh, students already sent me, but uh, others are still uh, not sent. So please uh, send that. Assignment. Yes, sir. Today, 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 today. Uh, ah, okay. Okay. Sir, I sent sir, but through email, sir, but not not confirmed. Sir. Ah, right. Okay. Sir, I, I also sent uh, through email, sir. Uh, uh, how to confirm, sir? We got two emails you already given, sir. Okay, Both okay, days. okay. I, I will check because only five or six students I downloaded and I didn't have to check. Ah, that's what, sir. It's better, I, no, sir. Yeah, I will, uh, I will uh, confirm the, the, the assignments. Only five or six. Right, uh, we will uh, start uh, the today lecture. Actually, uh, diffusion and adoption of agricultural innovation. So that means. Uh, how uh, the knowledge or how awareness or how technology when we transfer, how it diffuse, how it's go to the, uh, how that awareness is uh, create uh, with the farming community or the target community, that's called diffusions, and the, how they adapt with that technology. That's the things we are going to uh, cover here today. So if we go for the simple definitions, actually <laughs> this, uh, diffusion when you say diffusions it is a process by which innovation is uh, communicated through the certain channels over the time among the members of a social system you know that uh, we in, in in previous lectures we discuss uh, when the, it based on the uh, the agricultural uh, extension model maybe as example technology transfer model right I will take as example technology transfer model. What they do is they transfer the <clears throat> new technology, they transfer the new uh, methodologies to the farming community. So technology transfer model is that. So when we transfer that uh, model, uh, <clears throat> we create awareness and we bring that technology to the uh, farming community or target community. So that technology is considered as uh, innovations right then we have to use some kind of communication channels for that uh, create that awareness and bring that technology to the power right we have innovation then we use channels and it it takes some time them to adapt with that technology which is called is a time factor and the what we are doing is the, we change we bring that innovations to the social system to adapt so therefore basic three words you have to keep in mind innovations right communications channels and the time and social system so please uh, keep this uh, four uh, words actually in diffusion keep in mind because today itself may be useful right today itself i am i am i am, I am repeat it today itself uh, uh, it may be useful to you innovations communications channels time and social system right this is the elements of the diffusion. So what we discussed here in previous is previous slide. So diffusion is the process. Process is bring innovations to the uh, social systems. We are using the communications channel is take time. That is called diffusion. So therefore we can identify uh, main uh, four elements in diffusion process. Diffusion process. So <coughs> diffusion is simply Simply diffusion we can define actually as a process. This process the take time to uh, take time to make fully awareness about the social system, uh, which is used to communicate about the innovation. So that is called uh, diffusions. Diffusions. Therefore, we can identify four elements. One is innovations. Uh, second thing is communications channels, time, 
and social system. So keep these four elements in mind, innovations, communications channels, time, and social system, right? When you, when you look at further with uh, what called in your innovation, actually uh, it can be an idea. It's maybe a, some kind of a simple thinking, simple idea about the changes of the existing system, extension pattern or practice, maybe an idea or some kind of, it may be a objectives, object or object or particular product, right? Pursuits as a new by individual or other units of adoption. So that may be, a, that's, that is defined actually, it is maybe idea or maybe a practice or maybe a particular product, right? Uh, it's uh, formed by individual or units of, units of adoptions, right? So therefore, that the component uh, of the innovation may be a, a hard products or maybe a uh, untangible product. So as example, I put it's a hardware as a physical software as a knowledge. So therefore, that innovation that can be a, a tangible products that can be touch or intangible products. So that may be idea, knowledge, or whatever things that is called innovations sometimes that innovation also uh, we use uh, words um, uh, reinventions the innovations we take some word is called reinvention so that is means it's a degree to which an innovation is changed or modified by the user in the process of adoption and implementation sometimes actually the some people or some individuals they change the existing pattern, extension system, existing uh, model uh, to make uh, more easy to use. So they change or modify. So this is also called as an innovation, but we use that word is as a pre-invention, pre-invention. So kind of change of the process. So some value additions to the product, uh, the existing process this is called <coughs> pre-invention. So these are two words, innovations and reinvention. This two is considered as a similar pa uh, pattern of words, right? Uh, the one is one of the elements of the <coughs> diffusions, right? The second thing is uh, communications channels. They should have uh, some channels to communicate about uh, the, the innovations that is called communications channel. It is mean, uh, but uh, by which the message get transferred from one individual to other. How that message transfer one individual to other. So therefore, that medium uh, is uh, can be sometimes face-to-face uh, -face what we are communicates and the social media, mass media, and the print media, or whatever other media uh, <clears throat> can be considered. As an example, actually, uh, and here I'm discussing uh, the mass media is good for creating awareness, creating awareness of knowledge, whereas uh, some kind of interpersonal channels are good for uh, forming and change in attitudes of the people towards the technology, right? So, so channels are there. Uh, mass media is good for creating awareness. And the interpersonal channels, that can be good for changing attitudes. Give me one minute. Right, uh, sorry for delay, the two children are making sounds. Uh, right, so channels, uh, the medium may be vary with the uh, requirements. So face-to-face -face is good for creating, uh, 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 creating good attitudes towards to the new technology. And the other media, mass and print, social media, that's good for creating awareness. So that is called communications channels, communication channels. The third part is uh, social systems. Actually, social system is uh, where the place we are practicing this. 
where the place we are practicing this is just called it is a society or social system right that uh, there are <coughs> three components there are three main components individual individual farmer or individual target persons individual even we also part of the social system and the formal groups are there maybe uh, we can consider what are the uh, groups available informally in the society and the formal organizations maybe a farm organization government organization what are the private organization maybe whatever the things we can consider which are as a group available informally and the groups available in informally and the individual persons we can consider all together as a social system so we consider as a three component individual informal groups and the formal organization for the subsystem so these are the components of the so, uh, social system actually we call it as a social system but actually we are the place we practice this uh, diffusion process right the fourth component is uh, the time the first component is the time innovation actually when we when we when we create innovations and we use the uh, different uh, communications channels and we convey that message to the uh, social system social system maybe to individual maybe to the informal group maybe a formal groups right so that's <clears throat> time is uh, considered as a factor to the <clears throat> the diffusion or as an element of the diffusion so which mean the innovation actually it is a kind of uh, diffusion is a kind of uh, the process to take decisions about the adapt or reject right so therefore uh, it considers time factor also as a one element so innovation decision process the process through which which an individual or oh, the pass from pass from personalized to an innovation so that mean actually so <clears throat> We have innovations, so we have uh, uh, different communications channels, we have target social systems. So when we consider it takes some time. So time factor is considered as a, uh, one element of the diffusion. So the forming, performing and attitudes towards the innovations is take time. Right? To a decisions to adapt or reject. Right? To decisions to adapt or reject is take time. And the two implementations of new idea. So after that, imagine with the people who adapt. We discuss about the adaptive uh, adaptive cycle in next coming slides. So it take time. So implementation of the new ideas take time, and the confirmation of the uh, the decision. So these are the things to form new attitudes to uh, to take decisions to adapt or reject to implementation with new idea or confirmation of this decision. So therefore, <coughs> therefore that we consider time as uh, elements of the uh, one elements of the diffusion so what diffusion mean is uh, uh, we discuss it's a process the innovation communicates to the channels through the channels take times uh, <coughs> to the members of the social system there are four, four elements are there innovation communications channels time and social systems then we define the what innovation means it actually may be idea object so the practice whatever thing maybe the, then we redefine as a reinvention or modification or change of existing system then we identified what is the what are the different channels and the, we then we know about the social system and the uh, and the time these are the four elements of the diffusion uh, diffusions right then we have to know about what are the innovations and what are the characteristics what is the innovation we 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 we, uh, we discuss innovation as an element of the diffusion then we have to know about in deep in depth what is innovation so therefore therefore we have to know about what are the characteristics of the innovation so okay normally among the members of the social system uh, some innovations are diffuses from the first uh, introduction to the wide spreads and some are takes uh, some years to take many years to uh, diffuse with the people so the reason is the characteristics of the innovations right characteristics of the innovation so therefore that that rate of uh, diffusers and the adapted is depend uh, uh, depends on the characteristics of the innovations therefore we have identified that uh, innovation should have following qualities right when, when if, we, if you say this is innovations they should have a 
following qualities. So these are the five main uh, attributes of the innovation. Good, good, good innovation should have uh, following uh, five attributes. So these are the attributes which are which as we can define as a relative advantage. There should be have relative advantage or comparative advantage. We discuss uh, in depth in coming slides and the compatibility. Right, should be compatible with the nature and norms and the social systems, and the complexity should have some complexity and as well as some simplicity. Also, we discuss what is mean by the complexity and the trialability and the <clears throat> and the observability. These are the five attributes of the uh, innovations. Five attributes of the innovation. So, what is mean by uh, relative advantage. When you say relative advantage, it is comparative, always comparative. Comparative to what? Comparative to the what is available already or what is previously available. So therefore, relative advantage always define with uh, what the advantage with, with compared to the already available or with compared to the previously available. So relative advantage actually it is mean it is the degree to which an innovation is pursued being better than the idea it is already had right so that means the 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 the, the degree what degree that each innovation uh, pursued as a being better than the what already have right it is uh, positively always related to the rate of adoption so Imagine the relative advantage is comparatively higher uh, than the previous one. The peoples are uh, highly adapted with the new innovation. That is, that is why we call uh, there is a positive uh, relationship with the rate of uh, adaptions. As example, I have put here, uh, you know there are different types of weed sites uh, contact weed sites pre emergence weed site post emergence weed site like that different type <laughs> right that uh, as example i have put here we decide which is uh, used for weeds so some kind of in in in, in andradapura like area some dambulla like area maybe uh, we can consider as onion right the weed site actually they use uh, post emergence weed sites was used uh, in previous Time, but at the invented of the pre-emergent weed site, the farmer was uh, highly adapted with the pre-emergence weed site. That pre-emergence weed site means we apply that weed site to the soils. That that weed site is kill the uh, seeds available uh, with the soils. Then 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 weeds are not come at the time of cropping. <clears throat> Therefore, people uh, people adapt highly with uh, pre-emergence weed site. Right, use of pre uh, emergent weed site was uh, prepared as it did not allow weeds to grow as compared to the post emergence weed site, which is used after emergence weed that which has already <coughs> incurred some loss of crops. <laughs> Sorry, actually, I had some cough today. Uh, so that means. The people were highly uh, happy and which uh, they are very happy to uh, work with uh, pre-emergence weed sites than uh, <coughs> post-emergence weed sites. That means that had that had uh, comparatively or relative advantage than post-emergence weed sites. So therefore, what are the factors? impacts on the to take relative advantage so these are the <coughs> two factors one is uh, economic factors and rate of adoption so economic factors means the prices actually prices and <coughs> what are the what are the cost incurred with uh, that uh, new uh, innovations than the previous one and the rate of adoption and the status aspects of the <coughs> innovations and the effect of uh, incentivities that means that uh, adapters and diffusers are there right adapters and diffusers we, we discuss and in coming slides what are the adapters and what are the diffusers and individuals and the system 
by the factors that effect to take relative advantage uh, <coughs> individual and the system and the positive and negative impact <coughs> monetary and uh, non monetary uh, <coughs> difficult to take a picture today give me one <laughs> give me give me small break give me two minutes break okay i i'll come with uh, some treatment Hello. Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry for that. I have big cough today. It's difficult to continuously speak. We will try. If, if it is difficult, we will uh, we will stop today. <laughs> we will try to do some maximum. Uh, right. Uh, relative advantage. So that means that factors uh, that uh, that take relative or comparative advantage uh, adapted if you say individual system. Positive or negative impact, uh, the monetary and non monetary mean that how much the prices uh, or money related uh, impacts, right? Then, the, the another factor of uh, with the innovation is that compatibility, so it should be compatible with the uh, <coughs> social system. So, it is the degree, uh, degree to which an innovation is uh, pursued as a consistent with the existing value, past experience, and the need of potential adapters. So they are may, they are, they are for, uh, <clears throat> the innovation should be compatible. Therefore, the innovation should be compatible with the, the uh, <clears throat> existing values, past experience, and the potential adapters. So as example, I have put here, uh, brief products, as you know, in Sri Lankan value, in cultural values, uh, they are a, uh, it's a good kind of actually good business, but the value system is already uh, suppressed it as a business. <clears throat> Eating food with the left hand, also lack of compatibility with the uh, social norm, that because the left hand is considered as unclear, as I have put two, three, example for you to <clears throat> whatever the innovation it should be compatible with the social system imagine the figure is a profitable enterprise it's a good business but with the <clears throat> the muslim uh, uh, peoples they are very unhappy uh, with this business and it is not compatible with uh, their culture therefore whatever the you know innovation is come to the field or to the uh, society that should be uh, compatible with the uh, social systems. That means the values and the past experience and also the, <coughs> the needs of the potential adapters. Right. <coughs> As an example, I have put that two, three uh, compatibility uh, factors, right? The, which value is, you know, that uh, miracle rice is uh, uh, not available with uh, fat, protein, and uh, others, only water and the starch. And the compatibility with the previously introduced idea, <coughs> X-ray and the CT scan. The X-ray was there, then it come C2, C2 scan. And the compatibility with the need of the farmer. These the three factors should be uh, compatible with the values and beliefs 
previously introduced idea and also the <coughs> needs, uh, the, the factor we have to consider. And the complexity, also one uh, part of the <coughs> innovations, it means that uh, it is a degree to which innovation uh, perceived as a relatively difficult to understand or use, right? Maybe uh, mm, sometimes people, th people uh, maybe thinks the <coughs> innovation should be hugely uh, complex. So with that, actually, it is negatively impact uh, rate of adaptions, rate of adaptions. Therefore, complexity should be, <coughs> complexity should be, some kind of considerable amounts, not too much higher or too much low. As example, I have put here, imagine it's a simple example that uh, yeah, I, am here, I am put here. Imagine total changes is difficult uh, with farmers to adapt, shifting from crop production to poultry production. So 100% change of, of the existing cropping system is maybe uh, very complex to the farmer to the adapt. So therefore, so we have to think, so what the way we take adaption process, so what the, uh, how we uh, introduce innovations to the farm and community, how, what is the speed or what is the change in <clears throat> role. So that is called complexity. Otherwise we call degree of, uh, the, the, it is a degree to which innovation is perceived as relatively difficult to understand or use. Amounts of difficulty to understand or use. Imagine <clears throat> most of, uh, IT solution related to the agriculture and the apps and other 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 service providing uh, websites are facing this uh, complexity uh, yeah. problem because they are coming with the huge uh, solutions and good solutions to the farmers, but uh, <coughs> the availability or ability to understand with the target customer or the ability to use easily is a little complex. Therefore. Therefore, the, that innovation is adapt with the farmer is a very, uh, very slow rate is happening. So therefore, complexity, we should, <coughs> we should consider. Second, third thing is, fourth thing actually is the trialability. Trialability, so actually that innovation, there should have some even limited amounts of trialability <coughs> or ability to trial. Right. Imagine as example, new seed or fertilizer actually uh, <clears throat> in a small scale level, uh, they can trial fertilizer or seeds, but imagine machinery or any other cow dung gas plants, they can't uh, trial. They, ha they had to make that uh, uh, total invest, inve uh, invest uh, total money, total capital they have to invest. And after that, they have to <clears throat> try, but to otherwise, they have to depend on the uh, information provided by the supplier or seller. So therefore, the trialability also <clears throat> some kind of uh, good uh, characters of the new innovations they should have even limited stance to the user to the trial. Trialability of innovation is pursued by the source system. It is positively related to the uh, rate of adoption. It is positively related to the rate of adaptions because people uh, they, if they can trial if they can trial and take uh, okay then this is a good product if they can't trial <coughs> uh, the rate of adaption is actually the people adapt with that new technology or product is comparatively uh, very low or slow so that <coughs> that is why we put that positive relationship with uh, trialability and rate of <coughs> adaptions And the observability is a, a last characteristic of the innovations. <coughs> it is means, uh, it is that degree to which the results of an innovation are visible to others. So observability, then imagine there is some innovations then that is communicated via uh, <coughs> different communications channels that the social system have to identify, ah, okay, this is the impact of this innovation that is called observability they should have a, a physically observing uh, qualities of the innovation because some innovations are there it is very <clears throat> difficult to uh, uh, physically observe the positive impact so therefore if there is some kind of observability with that product or uh, idea 
so it will uh, highly uh, adapted with the uh, saucer system it is if it is difficult to perceive or if it is difficult to observe by the saucer system so if it is intangibly or if it is hypothetical so then <coughs> rate of adaptation is actually uh, very slow or very low right some kind of thing also there is not a uh, uh, qualities of innovation but i put over adaptions right over adaptions also we have to think in, in coming slide we will discuss uh, this is actually i put as example over adaptation is adaptation of an innovation by the individual <coughs> expert feel that uh, uh, he or she should reject so that mean that mean not total reject but uh, engage with uh, too much time or dealing with too much time not not should do that experts are uh, things but the but the target customers are uh, <coughs> too much adoption we call over adoption that for your information so right <coughs> now you know now you know what are the qualities of the uh, innovations <coughs> these are the five qualities relative advantage that mean it has comparative advantage uh, with the existing one or previous one and the compatibility that uh, innovation should be compatible with values past experience and the need with need of potential adapters should be compatible and the complexity it should be some kind of uh, it should be little simple as well as a little complex easy to uh, <coughs> understand with the users and trialability ability to trial and the observability so the source system should uh, easily observe the results of the uh, <coughs> innovations so innovation is happening actually uh, that innovation <coughs> decision happening with the three type of uh, um, approaches <coughs> what is called uh, the first one is called uh, <coughs> collective decision making as a group actually imagine uh, we call uh, brainstorming sessions or as a group they uh, the, the innovation groups they form and they come with different idea and then they concentrate on an idea and they <coughs> innovate that is called uh, collective approaches <coughs> second one is a uh, optional it is a volunt voluntary or individual choice so individual people they come with a <coughs> new idea uh of innovation so that is called optional third one is authoritative <coughs> authoritative means is the top management is forced to that uh, below people you have to come with new uh <coughs> new innovate or, or innovative idea and come with innovative product so <coughs> these are the three type of innovation decisions happening so as a team they uh, <coughs> as a collective people or groups they come with uh, they get together and discuss put their ideas and come with new idea and innovation comes for individual people optional or voluntary come with new idea and and the third one is authority we, we use power and they force and they force to innovate and they that which that way also uh, in previous uh, before the world war that uh, germany was used this uh, approach as of authoritative uh, innovations uh, <clears throat> before the uh, first and second world war as example authoritative uh, the top down you must come with uh, new innovations right so therefore <clears throat> we should know uh, the process of innovation so so now we discuss a little uh, more about the uh, innovation decision process how that innovations <clears throat> is happening okay for, for for an information actually uh, seeking an information process is actually the activity which individual is motivated to reduce uncertainty with the advantage or disadvantage of the <coughs> innovation so what actually uh, the what actually happen is this reduce uncertainty uh, maybe with advantage or disadvantage with the uh, <coughs> innovations so therefore that uh, innovation decision making process uh, there are uh, five stages there are five stages are there in the decision uh, innovation process one is knowledge second one is persuasions then third one is decision or we reject or assess 
and the uh, fourth one is uh, <coughs> implementations and the last one is uh, confirmations okay knowledge persuasions we come with the uh, next slides actually knowledge is actually uh, <coughs> one of one person who exposed to the innovations and what they do is he gains some understanding how it is function right knowledge when he exposed to the innovation right and he gain who understand about how it is functions it is called uh, it is called knowledge and the persuasion is but the person who uh, one is a form of favorable or unfavorable attitudes to the innovations the person who take knowledge about the existing or new product what how it is function and he he take positive or negative advantage of that product that product then what he do is he take a decision right he take a decision so who engage uh, uh, he may be uh, adapt with new technology or sometime he may be reject if imagine he who adapt with that technology he go for implementation stage okay well, it's okay <clears throat> we will uh, we will use this product we will use this product that's called implementations and the confirmation is who want seek reinforcement of their decision <clears throat> after the adoption so after the implementations of that uh, decisions what he do is he further um, he he want to per, uh, more information about the reinforcements or <clears throat> more use of that product or uh, reinforcement of that decision so this is the five stages of the uh, uh, <clears throat> innovation process uh, first what do is uh, the existing person who exposed to the innovations and he know about the function he get little understand or knowledge and what to what after that he do is uh, he take so he think okay this product is good or this product is not good it is bad have some uh, uh, attitudes towards that technology and he take decisions uh, okay i will go with this product oh i will not go with this product adapt or reject imagine he adapt he use that products and the, then he think uh, reinforcement or further information he searching to uh, make use uh, make use so uh, further effectively use with the uh, that technology or that product that is called <coughs> confirmations so knowledge persuasions decisions implementation and confirmation these are the uh five stage of decision innovations uh, process so this process is we we put actually uh, how one individual person who engage with the innovations person who take knowledge right after that he take uh, to take towards to positive or negative uh, attitudes and then he take a decision to adapt or reject and he implements and the uh, go for further information so that process is for one person right for one person but adaptive adaptation curve is uh, discuss about how entire social system go with go with uh, uh, decision for the, what call uh, uh, decision innovation process this is for one individual person the adaptation curve explain how entire social system uh, go with this process go with this process okay what's called knowledge persuasion decision implementation and confirmation how entire social system is following it is described by uh, adaptation curve adaptation curve i think already you have some understanding about adaptation curve the this is a five uh, <coughs> categories are there innovators early adapters early majority late majority and laggards these are the Uh, five uh, categories of that adapt uh, uh, adaptation curve that adaptation curve explain how entire social system uh, adapt with the uh, innovation and uh, adapt with the the previous five stages right how they take knowledge and how they uh, take decisions and what they do is reject to uh, practice and uh, practice it and how it uh, go for confirmations how entire society uh, uh, how entire society uh, with call response to the uh, that stages this is called adaptive adaptations <coughs> curves 
<laughs> right the adapters are categories which are uh, uh, which are the classifications of the numbers of sources system based on innovativeness innovativeness right it is a degree to which individual or unit of adaptation is relatively earlier adapter new idea uh, than the other members of the system that means the how the entire social system responds to the new innovations and how they adapt with the time so that uh, <clears throat> that process same time and the amounts we classify into the five right the how speed they uh, uh, response how slow they respond to that innovation so we we categorize <laughs> according to the times and their characteristics so innovators early adapters late majority early uh, early majority late majority and laggards are come with the their responsive rates and with their characteristics so innovators actually i think you already have learned this uh, with the previous some other lectures innovators are actually they are with try with uh, new ideas the eager to try ideas so in normal social system actually it's uh, only 2% 2 to 2.5% are available with uh, this category innovators they always uh, open with uh, to try with new idea they have always uh, composite um, uh, social relationship with uh, uh, <coughs> new uh, innovators and they are ability to understand and apply complex technologies they have technical knowledge and uh, they have some understanding uh, they have some uh, uh, positive mindset to try with the uh, new idea also they have the ability to cope with higher degree in nature and the, uh, they are the people actually uh, play gatekeeping role in the social system and imagine the gatekeeping role is they are the people who take decisions to, uh, okay this technology should come into the uh, gate or we should uh, this this technology must come into the here okay come or not they are the people who uh, take decisions 2.5 percent uh, represent from the entire social system they are the people uh, they want to try new idea they have good social relationship they have some technical knowledge and they have uh, they are playing uh, gatekeeping role these are the people who innovate so otherwise uh, <clears throat> when innovations come very first two three days people who catch up with that technology who call uh, innovators right <clears throat> the second people actually uh, early adapters also known as uh, respectables and uh, they are localities and have opinion leaderships i am i'm i'm coming uh, in uh, later slides with what is mean by opinion uh, leaderships actually members of the social system consider them as individual to check with okay <clears throat> before the use new idea these are the people who are waiting who who want to check to others they don't like to take that cost factors they are not uh, uh, <clears throat> like to uh, open with new idea but what they do is the others they are very happy others to try and uh, uh, try and practice their new technologies and what they do is if if that uh, other people are happy with that technology what the early adapter is what they are doing is they are uh, <clears throat> they, 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 they are happy to follow the innovators normally it is 13.5 percent of the normal social uh, system okay then also they hold the central positions of communication structure of the system and the respect by the uh, peers they are, these are the people who are waiting for others to practice and then uh, the second stage uh, they adapted uh, with the new technology normally uh, change agent they consider these people as a uh, local missionaries right local missionaries and the uh, and the third party or third category is considered as a early majority early majorities are also known as deliberates early uh, early majority and they adapt with new idea just before the average members of the social system actually just before the social uh, average of the social <coughs> system in actually they are with the first 50 percent okay they, they seldom and hold uh, leadership positions okay sell them to hold leadership positions these are the people who are uh, happy to uh, uh, keep uh, leadership position in the social system even uh, even that day 
adjust or they uh, engage with the innovation in the third segments in the social system okay they provide uh, interconnectedness in the system with the next door <laughs> motors of this early majority is be not the first by which they uh, by which the new is tried they always are not happy to be a first they are these are the leaders or <clears throat> the seldom hold leaderships they have they are not uh, happy to do or try to first but they uh, they follow the uh, late early uh, early adapters right <clears throat> normally 34% is represent from the social social system and the late majority are there the late majority are known as uh, spectators they adapt with new idea just uh, after the average members of the social system uh, okay normally uh, the technologies after introducing uh, plus 2 3 years these are the people who uh, adapt with the uh, new technology maybe the old people some kind of uh, they uh, they adapt with the innovations and they feel that uh, safe for the adults because uh, this 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 uh, late majority people actually uh, uh, they take this uh, adaptation decision is to safe for their so they think okay uh, we have nothing to do for even for our safe we must go with this technology otherwise we will uh, come or we will lose out from the system so therefore they adapt safe for safe to adapt approach is their late majority laggards actually uh, they are more traditionals laggards are known as the traditionals the <clears throat> last uh, in the social system to adapt and innovations uh they are isolated speakers they 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 almost no opinion leadership they are not uh, worried about others opinions uh, social pressures like this and the point of preference actually the legard is past actually they are always uh, prefer with the past technology and past products what they are doing is they always uh, prefer okay these days we did uh, in our Uh, past days we follow this kind of practices we are not uh, happy to come with uh, this one these this uh, drawbacks available with this uh, innovations therefore these lagards are very uh, traditional and they always uh, reference past and be they are happy to be with uh, traditional values uh, not uh, not to engage with the uh, 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 innovations right these are the five categories Uh, innovators happy with new idea social relationship and the uh, early adapters they are they are waiting for others opinions opinion leadership they take innovators opinions and they adapt with uh, the new technology in second part third part is early major uh, early majority right early majority they they are waiting for uh, mass majority to uh, practice that innovations and take positive and negatives and analyze everything and after that they uh, they adapt and the last uh, is the late majority okay and the <coughs> very last people is the laggards these are the very traditional and very very difficult to uh, adapt with the new technology even they are not uh, take opinions of the others so they don't consider with what others are telling they are always happy to be with the past experience and past references right uh, with that uh, i will i would like to give you a five minutes breaks and i will come with uh, 12:35 uh, and we will continue with uh, balance uh, one hour right i need just five minutes to break okay, okay. Yeah.
shall we shall we start again yes sir okay 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 we'll start because only few slides to uh, complete today uh, up to now we just uh, go to uh, go through with the adaptation score we know about the characteristics of the innovators early adapters uh, late majority uh, early majority late majority and laggards okay that uh, we we just we just uh, have some understanding about okay innovators is this is a uh, open with new idea having social relationships early adapters are the opinion leaderships who 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 follow the ideas of the uh, innovators and the late majorities are waiting for the vast majority to adapt with the uh, new technology or innovations and the late majorities are the people who do that for their safety that for their safety they adjust with that new technology for their safety the are <clears throat> traditionals they are not follow that uh, uh, they are not worried about others opinions they are not opinion leaderships okay they don't worry they always with the uh, past they happy to reference the past experience and the technology and they with past these are the uh, uh, categories of the adaptations uh, uh, curves so the process of adaptation actually <clears throat> also we can identify um, five uh, steps are there okay it is uh, normally that adaptation adaptation process uh, normally it is a mental process through which individual pass uh, from first knowledge to the confirmations of that decisions in the later. So this is a step-by-step -step process. Okay, normally it is called awareness, interest, evaluation, trial and adaptions. <coughs> adaptions process actually one first stage is the awareness, right? Awareness, the uh, awareness actually is the stage that individual uh, first hear about the innovations the very first touch of the about the technology is called awareness this means that individual is exposed to an idea but lacking the details about this person who Im immediately exposed to the technology or innovations at the very beginning it's called awareness but he don't have uh, uh, the vast uh, understanding about how it's function what are the positive what are the drawbacks how uh, how it can uh, use into the field so therefore, it ha he has some idea, it's called awareness, very first stage, but he doesn't have detailed uh, information about, about it. This is uh, somewhat is uh, seen uh, without attaching meaning to it. That means actually he, he know there is some kind of products, but uh, he, uh, he can't further explain the positive, negative uh, drawbacks, uh, effectiveness or whatever the other thing. So this is called awareness. <coughs> Over stage of the adaptation uh, process. Then what actually then happen is uh, people come to the interest level. Uh, at that stage, individual is uh, motivated to find uh, out more information about this new idea. So then he first stage he know rough understanding about the product or innovations. Then he he keeps some interest. Okay, okay, there is some kind of products we should uh, we should uh, show or find out more information about how it's function, what is the cost and uh, how it's uh, implements, what are the drawbacks, what are the long-term benefits like that. We come to the interest level. <laughs> An individual who want to know what uh, what is it, how it's work and what is the potential with that is called <coughs> interest level, uh, process of the adaptation. Second one is interest level. Then what he, what he is doing is actually he go for evaluate, evaluation. This is stage of mental trial of new ideas take place the individual <coughs> is considered what is the relative advantage okay the relative advantage we uh, we we, uh, we, uh, we considered in the very beginning of the innovation so in evaluation level okay this is my uh, existing technology products and solution i have this is the new product or solution i have what is the product i should continue with they they have to take decision so at that time they take relative advantage and 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 they uh, at that time they consider okay you go with uh, uh, <coughs> new practice or go with previous practice that evaluation is happening at <coughs> the adaptation uh, adaptation process after that what he do is have to trial 
he have to give he he going to trial it trial is the stage um, trial is the stage that's the individual test the innovation in a small scale for himself to take some uh, uh, understanding okay uh, this product I, i have to try and have to try it my own way and and check is this uh, solution is given the correct uh, results to me or oh, is this product what i am expecting or oh, is this product uh, or oh, is this the results i am expecting so the personally he he must trial the trial process trial stage is come the individual seek information about the technique uh, method of applied new data so what is do is he, he trial and take some errors and he personally uh, take decisions to continuation so not then what do is he is if it is happy with that process then what he is do is he he go with uh, adoption with he go with adoption with new process right in uh, if, uh, if it is satisfied with the trial of individual we decided to uh, use the innovation in uh, in large scale this is called uh, <coughs> adoption process actually i think you uh, sometime you might um, have remember when i explain in the private sector extension how they do is uh, this how they use this adaptation process is they uh, in the training programs and the uh, leaflets and other individual visits they they make awareness about their products and what they available and they <coughs> create interest to them and at the time of evaluations uh, they come with their uh, own solutions so or not not going with blanket uh, recommendations a specific solution is given and the trial trial then they they post trial and if they go with adaptations and they go with uh, we call customer relationship management and uh, customer complaint handling everything is do with adaptations go i explain it uh, with uh, private sector practices this is uh, uh, how people adapt with the new innovation so <clears throat> what they do is if they satisfied with the trial individual who decided to uh, practice in uh, in large scale okay this called uh, <coughs> adapt uh, adaptations adaptations so then i have to discuss about the characteristics of adapters characteristics of adapters because uh, these uh, three characteristics actually you have to keep in mind socio economic character personality character uh, uh, characters and the communications these three i will discuss in, in depth Uh, because it is uh, very uh, needed to know because why this uh, adapters are um, adapt with new technologies so how we can identify these are adapters or not adapters like that so these are the characteristics of uh, <coughs> these are the economical socio economical characteristics of adapters the very early people who come with uh, new technology adaptation they are commercial and economic oriented oriented people these are the people <coughs> these are the farmers those are not doing uh, just farming no not not just practices their orientation is always commercial or economical or profit oriented profit oriented therefore they always searching uh, some kind of uh, what is called new technologies new innovation to reduce the uh, cost of production increase the production profitability and whatever the other expectations they are people commercial land Uh, economic orient uh, orientations and the <clears throat> second thing is they are comparatively uh, educated by uh, educated people they have uh, more years of educations than the average okay more educations than the average or even they have more exposure to the technology than the average right keep in mind the people the, sometime those people may not have Uh, exact numbers of years but they have more exposure than the average <coughs> right more years of education and they have higher social status they have money they have some status they are maintained also this this uh, adapters actually very happy to upward social mobility so they, they, they these people always search into uh, climb the social uh, next strata so if they are imagine they are in middle class they want to Uh, 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 high to uh, upper middle class or higher middle uh, higher uh, class of that social ladder. So these are the people who who who, who want to go with upward social mobility, right? That is why they are searching new uh, technologies and uh, <coughs> new uh, 
uh, innovations to adapt and increase profitability and their money and the profit oriented uh, people and also these people are very uh, more favorable with actually credits they are not uh, some actually average uh, category of the rural community is normally uh, fear with the credits but these categories not fear with the credits they they borrow money they invest money on innovations and technology and other other sectors to uh, make uh, their business profitable and more uh, specialized operations and 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 always they are more happy to uh, be literate or more happy to learn something more than the average so these are the socio economic characteristics of uh, the adapters they are commercial and economic orientals they have some kind of educations and they have social status <coughs> and they happy to uh, move to next stage of the social system um, and they uh, they are not worried about the credit they are they are favorable attitudes towards the credit and the specialized operated that they are always open people to for education or to be uh, literate these are the socio economic characteristics and the personality characteristics are they are people who are who considered as adapters right <clears throat> they are favorable attitudes towards the science education and change right science education and change they are they are always it science they always search in new technology new uh, solutions what are the researchers are going on and education and change uh, the change the existing system and less fatalistics <coughs> they are always greater empathy they, they they are with the people who with the real sense with others and always themselves and the less uh, dogmatics and the greater rationality and they able to cope with uncertainty and the risks actually these people uh, who are who would like to take uh, the risk they are they normally we know that the uncertainty is there we don't have information and the practicing is uh, risk for money and other resources but they would like to uh, take uh, that uh, risk uh, regarding the innovation right that is why they are become adapters high level of achievement oriented so always always <laughs> what they are do is uh, their mentality is to okay i want to achieve this i want to achieve this that's mentality is they are that motivation is there and always the intelligence level is greater comparatively uh, higher intelligence level they have and the aspirations they aspire to okay i want to change this existing system like personality characteristics are there with the adaptation <clears throat> and when, when look at the uh, communication factors actually social participations and the more change agent context the people with the uh, innovative and the changing they have context seeking information about the innovations uh, more actively they, they are searching they think and higher degree of opinion leaderships i will come to next slide what is opinion leaderships they would Uh, very happy to listen others and take uh, uh, opinions from other and the great exposure to the mass media communications channels than average and highly interconnected uh, to the social system right great knowledge on innovations and the great exposure to interpersonal communications channels so interpersonally they have lot of people to talk uh, to to make that uh, innovations so or regarding innovations right these are the <laughs> main three characteristics of uh, adapters so sometime you may need to keep this in mind maybe in the exam i will check with the characteristics of uh, adapters so, okay socio economic personality and communications keep these characteristics and you have some ability to explain um, these three characteristics of uh, adapters socio economic so what are they and how it impact and personality what are they and how it impacts and the communications uh, what are the and how it impact and the very last uh, two or three slides so uh, opinion leadership actually it is uh, we discuss about two, two three slides opinion leadership is there the degree to which individual is able to informally influence other individual attitudes or overts behavior in desired way with relative frequency right opinions receives opinion seeker 
opinion reserver and opinion seeker. So what that mean is, uh, <clears throat> what that mean is opinion leadership is actually that uh, we can informally influence to others using uh, this call opinions, right? There are some people who receive opinion. There are some people who seek opinions, right? There are some people who send their opinions and they can change. So that is. Uh, that is we call opinion leadership. They are characteristic when look at opinion uh, leaderships. Uh, <coughs> most of time, they have uh, communicate with uh, external uh, linkages, right? External communications, they have opinion leaders. They always search uh, with information from external factors and they are easily, uh, we can access them. They are ready to listen to others. And the socioeconomic status, they are in some kind of uh, good socioeconomic uh, status we uh, in higher social status they are there and uh, what they do is they they are very happy with innovation so therefore external people they can influence they can influence via opinions and change uh, this kind of people this is called opinion leadership right diffusion network and communication proximities is no need to uh, worry about it. This also I put to uh, homophilosophy and uh, heterophily. Homophily and heterophily just for your uh, completeness of uh, this lecture and the change agents also. You just go through this uh, change agent role also. Right. Uh, <clears throat> right. Now you have some kind of special things today. Right. Uh, okay. You all are, all are listening to me, no? Yes. Now you can go to your chat box. Open. Right. Uh, okay. This is a quiz number one for this lecture. Open your chat box and write first write to inbox number. Right. I'll give you two minutes for this quiz. It is allocated 10 marks. Right. Haride. Uh, yes, sir. Right. Okay, simple. Don't put uh, uh, index number that don't send me. I want answer to these questions. I, I told you keep this in mind in very beginning. What are the four elements of the diffusions? Right, I am giving you two minutes with inbox number, only four answers I have to write. One by one, don't send, okay? Okay, you are given two minutes. Sorry, sir, can you pardon, please? Sorry? Can you uh, I go. I went to the chat box, sir. But what's the problem? You you write. No, you I have three people it. already. I didn't get the question, sir. Ah, I didn't what get the question, the, sir. What are the four elements of the diffusions? What are the four elements of the diffusions? Now 11.56, 11, it's a time countdown is not working. So that's why I, I will count. You are given two minutes, uh, four elements of diffusions. Put all four answer with your index number. Don't put your index number alone. <coughs> sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. I'm in the chat, chat box, sir. Yes. I couldn't know the quiz number one is appearing on the board. 
what are the four elements of the division that is the question yes of course please uh, write four elements very very simple question and i i told you just i want to give you that four marks <laughs> that is why i give 10 marks is there for quizzes A half ten minutes. Okay, two minutes is finished. Uh, what are the others? Then we go on. Okay, please put your please put your answer to the chat box. Uh, If time is mentioned eleven fifty nine, then I will I will reject that answer. Right, okay, thank you very much uh, for the answer. These are the few very simple questions I put because I want to give that 10 marks for you because uh, uh, because uh, in exam you are given uh, sad answers uh, because uh, in exam I, I think uh, you know that 60% you have take uh, the exam and balance 40%. Uh, three assignments and one thesis is there so i have to give uh, two or three uh, assignments and cues so this one is will i give you for this will you can take right uh, so with that uh, i think uh, i can conclude uh, today's sessions uh, sir, only one one question sir for the quiz uh yes Okay. Sir, I didn't answer no, sir. Uh, what I do? Why did divide it into answer? What's the number you? Uh, zero, zero, 005, sir. Why did it into answer? You don't know? Uh, you are given 10 marks, but at the beginning of the lecture, I told you to keep this in mind. It will, it will be important for you end of this session. I told you so. Why actually you 